Okay, we'll start with a Mustard R43, size 12 dry fly hook. This is a three extra long dry fly hook. We've got beige or grey shear 40 naught. This is the CDC Para Weld Caddis. So we just go back to back there, we'll remove that. Got a short length of fine gold oval tinsel which we'll just tack in to the rear of the hook, back there, hang that out the way. That'll do us. Then what we do is we make a little dubbing loop. Remember to close the end of the loop so they're touching, otherwise your material will fall out. Work our way back forward, dubbing spinner on the loop, Hang it out of the way. Then I've got a little homemade hazier dubbing. I'll just apply this sparsely. I just want a scruffy underbody for this. That should do us fine. And then we'll spin that up. With a nice spiky dubbing. There we are, that's excellent. So we'll just catch this in. Go back there and then we can work our way forward. Don't worry about your tying thread. And we want to go quite a ways forward. We can just unwind that again. You can't hang that on a bobbin cradle, but I tend to find it gets in the way when I'm making videos. So we go forward to there, reverse that, swap those over, lock off the dubbing loop, go back with a few turns, then we can remove that. Take our dubbing brush and just Give that body a little brush to spike it up even more. Go forward to the body. I've got a little March Brown, a grizzle hackle dyed March Brown for the palmet hackle. We want this tied in so it's facing backwards. Most of the hackle fibres are sloping backwards, we just tie that off and then we can remove that. Take our hackle and we'll palmer this back over the hairs here. To there. Take our gold tinsel and bring that around and under, catching the hackle. And then we go up, try and keep the tinsel evenly spaced with each wrap. Up the body with this. Just reverse my tying thread. Come in. Tie off the tinsel. Remove that. Come to the back. Remove the hackle. That's looking good. Then I've got some uh, Vanyard Super Select uh, CDC. I'll take two hackles on top of each other and we'll make just a couple of loose turns like that and then we can pull these through. But 
the same length as the body and I can go back over those. Those are good. Lift these up. Trim them off. And then we come in here. We've got a short length of polypropylene. I'm just using yellow so you can see it better. And we'll put this at the back with a pinch. Straighten it up like so. A couple of turns central to hold it in position. Then we lock it off behind and in front, behind again. Now this is important. Take a little drop of varnish and we just put it on the post base. This will give your tine thread much more purchase. So you can use a gallows tool for this but once you've made a few it gets easier. So we just go up the post to secure it like so. Come back behind here. Tiny bit of hairs here dubbing again. This we can apply without a dubbing loop. Just like that. And we come in behind the post and dub the rear of the thorax. And then we make a little dubbing loop, close the ends again, go forward, hang the dubbing loop out the way, tiny bit of the hersier dubbing again just to finish the th thorax at the front and come up here go forward and finish her Oops. Put that in there. And then I've got some natural beige CDC in a Petit Jean Magic Clip. Put this in the dubbing loop and we load it to there. And we'll spin that up. So, take our CDC brush, we go up and around the poly post, as you would with a pyroloop hackle, and then we come down again into the post base till we get back to the bare dubbing loop we pull everything back just secure it with a couple of turns then we can come in with our scissors Remove the dubbing spinner. One last whip finish. Remove our tying thread. And we take our comb and we just brush out any fibres that may be trapped in the loop like so. I've got a Petit Jean stacker which we 
hold the post and we just push all the CDC down like so then we take hold of all the CDC on the post we trim that off we take a corduroy tool and we melt the polypropylene yarn to weld the CDC hackle in position like so and then we lift everything up all the parachute hackle like so take our scissors trim it off and there's the CDC para weld caddis it will float all day long and the next day you can trim the hackle down even more if you wish depending on what footprint you require but it's a great attractor and it fishes beautifully if you enjoy the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching